Rock and Ray. Yeah, it's Hurricane Betsy Barnes over there, Dr. K. Solo over, over here. And in the middle, we have got Rory Wingett, who is the chef at City Pork Brasserie and Bar. One of Thank our you very so favorites. Much. I, I love that place. You're welcome. I used to here. live right behind it. Can you uh, hear me all right? Yeah, I think yep. so. Yeah, okay. I, think that, I think that we're good. And we're so excited that you're going to prepare something for us. Yeah, so um, this is a new menu we put, our new item we put on the menu for spring. It's a Gulf Shrimp Ceviche. Um, very, uh, originates in South and Central America. Um, it's, it's, it's a really cool kind of different-ish kind of thing. Like you'll see it in some, um, like some of the Mexican restaurants around Baton Rouge, but this has a very much of a Louisiana spin to it. I use Louisiana Gulf Shrimp. Um, we the very a, best kind. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think let's let's show a picture of what it's all what it looks like at the end. But you're gonna you're gonna put it together for us. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little plate. You're gonna show here. me how to make it at home. Yeah, no, I'm never gonna make it at home. I'm just gonna come in and have you make it. For me. I mean, that's that's the kind yeah, of girl I am. <laughs> She's the kind of girl that makes reservations. Well, if you have a little bit of patience, it's actually I don't, very very easy. I don't. I um, just want to come and have you do it for me. That's that's, that's me. Yeah. All right. So it looks beautiful. It does. Very and healthy. It looks like spring. Yeah, so that was the idea is we wanted to have something very colorful, very spring themed. You know, I like to keep my menus very seasonal. Um, so this is actually something I did for a South American themed wine dinner we did uh, over at the Brasserie uh, that went over really well. I liked it a lot. I was there. You mm -hmm. were there? Okay. Well, I was thinking I just yeah, missed I've that had one. that. I so, don't remember all the pretty little flowers on it. I, I, I decorated it up you, a little bit You springed more. it up right it there. Slightly. I love it. Um, <laughs> But what, what ceviche is, it's, it's traditionally fish, uh, but it's soaked in like lemon or lime juice or marinated, I guess mm -hmm. would be a better term, um, and makes the, uh, the proteins in it kind of, uh, the words coagulate, uh, mm -hmm. basically make it act like a, a cooked item. And it's actually not cooked at all, but the, the acidity from the lime juice that it, that it marinates in um, kills all bacteria and it gives it that very cooked texture. Uh, it's, and because it has that lime flavor, it's very like light and refreshing, and it's mm -hmm. it's great. It sells really well for uh, brunch and lunch uh, for those looking for something kind of light. Yeah, for sure. Well, uh, show me how we make that right here, um, and Are let's those... talk about a few other things because I mean, is that available now on your Linton uh, dishes? It's not specifically on the Linton menu, but it is available for all shifts, the, mm -hmm. um, or all, all business hours. It's part right. of our regular menu. Now our Lent menu, um, I, I put together trying to, you know, we, we, we're, we're known very much for meat and obviously I wanted to, to do something seafood, obviously, but with right. a very city pork twist. Um, so I, I did a little bit of a mix of somewhat exotic and very comfortable. Like I have, you know, uh, crawfish etouffee and cornbread. Um, I did, uh, we have a whole roasted fish that we do that was on our menu for a while. Yes, that, that looks so like, nice, um, yes. That, that, was, that was one of the most fun things we, we've done in, in recent memory over there. Um, but one of the cooler things that I have is a barbecue octopus. That I, I don't know if we've you've actually, I, I, had I have not had it. I saw it on the menu, but I, I was not adventurous that night. I went with one of my normal favorites, but sh should, I, should I go there? Yeah, so it's... <laughs> um, I don't know if you've ever had like a calamari before, maybe. I love the, calamari. So yes. the, the texture really isn't far from that, and I okay. incorporated some familiar flavors with it, being like we have our gla a glaze of our own barbecue sauce on it, and the octopus itself is cooked in a crab boil. So there's a lot of familiar flavors in there that Got I was trying it. to. So you feel like you're eating crawfish pork. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> not quite. It's. It's a lot. I, I like to describe it as like a very like meaty kind of shrimp, like a, a, okay, a cool little beans. bit of texture. I, I'm gonna have to go there and have that. 100%. So, are these plantains that I see the yellow yes, strips? Yes, they are. Um, rather than bananas, those look really beautiful on there. Yeah, that that adds a. It's a nice garnish and adds like a crunchy um, and slightly salty element mm -hmm. uh, to it as well. And it's very good for kind of scooping everything up a little bit on, and you'll, you know, it yeah. gives you some seasoning. Like I said, some some crunch, a little bit more interest in the whole thing. If you're a dipper. If you're a dipper. I am a dipper. I'm a double dipper, actually. Yeah, you're a double dipper. They're delicious on their own, too. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So, so what do you put down first? What's your basis? Okay, so this, um, 
if you know you, you guys say you, you're fans of the brass or the uh, wild boar flosses that we have. Oh, I, I love, love those. those. So this that, that, is we eat there, there without. We really I can't go there without having that's, those. That's been a staple for a long time. Mm-hmm. But this is uh, that same sauce actually that smoked avocado cream. Mm-hmm. It's kind love of our it. base and it adds uh, some fattiness and richness to this healthy fats. Healthy he said fat. fattiness. Well, it's smoked avocado. avocado. It's, it, it's a healthy fat. You can have it all you want. You won't get fat. I'm just saying. It, it balances out the the acidity and kind mm-hmm. of lightness and freshness to it to the uh, to the whole dish. So that's kind of our base. So I just take a bottle like this and just draw a circle on there. And then we have a homemade pico de gallo that I mm, used. Very uh, colorful, beautiful. Yeah, I, I used delicious. some uh, local heirloom tomatoes as well as a little bit of corn to add some sweetness to it as well. Uh, and for co- uh, color. That would be great as a dip also. Yeah, it, it, it's very good as an you accompaniment. You can dip that with, with your plantain bits. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Or chips for almost or anything. fork or, you know. Um, so that pico de gallo is our, our next step kind of as a base for the shrimp. Then my favorite part. The now here's shrimp. our uh, Gulf shrimp right here that's been marinated in. Oh, and they look, you, they look like they're cooked. Yeah, they're, like you said, they, they look very, very fresh. But they they these do. have marinated in uh, lime juice and just a little salt and pepper for about three days. Um, we put about six to seven on the plate, depending on how big they are. I'll go ahead and go a little bit extra. You know, I just feel sorry He's for gonna everyone go who can't for smell how delicious this saying. is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So yeah, you get a really big it whiff is, of the freshness and the very, wine on there. It is very, very aromatic. And it's so that's wonderful. the um, that's the main part of it. Then we'll give a couple of these plantain chips. Beautiful just to the plantains. Top. Can y'all see this? Can you see it? Yes. And then yeah. you've got the beautiful floral accents. Are those edible yeah. flowers? Yes, they are. Um, they are mm-hmm. marigolds. I like to use a lot. They add, and you'll see a lot of the stuff I have on uh, on our menu, and a lot of the stuff that we do it there. I like to make very colorful and vibrant. It makes you know, it just makes everything very eye appealing and it kind of, you know, accentuates how how nice and fresh everything is. It's beautiful. Um, I love eating beautiful food. Yeah. And that's one of the things I, I love the presentation. I mean, granted, the presentation wouldn't be wouldn't be all about it if it didn't taste so yeah. good, too. But, you know, a combination of both of those, it's fantastic. I think that that looks like Betsy's hair around there. It's like so awesome. And she's getting ready to go to the Flower Fest with all those beautiful little flowers. That's right. We will be going to the Flower Fest. We will April 3rd and 4th. We are one of the sponsors. (laughs) We're raising money for St. Jude for a beautiful, wonderful event. And this is just so beautiful with the pink and purple and gold. I love it. LSU spring theme. All our favorites. I love it. Yeah, you can get these flowers in many different colors and they're, they're very... They they add uh, it's it's almost like uh, finishing something with parsley. It just adds yeah. a, like a very like light freshness to the end of the bite. You know, it's parsley's awesome. so uh, undone compared to that. That's beautiful. Yeah. You it's, put that on a crazy. plate, it's just beautiful. So we've got so much to talk about because you've got new cocktails too that like you know we'll go with this or any of the other dishes yeah. a- it's along, for spring. Along right? with our you know main food menu, we we stay up to date and stay seasonal with our uh, with our cocktail and wine list too. We've up- updated some some wines. I know one of the featured ones we have is a, is called a Super Tuscan. Please um, do not Tuscan. take off the I'm Southern go Hemisphere get, from the menu. Please do anywhere. not take off the Southern <laughs> Hemisphere, my personal favorite. I, I and, think that's most people's personal and, favorite. You know, there. we've it's got delicious. less than a minute left because I mean this was fantastic, but. If folks have not had the breakfast on weekdays, mm-hmm. which is what six to ten, is that op- what is the time? It opens for that? at seven, and we'll go to ten. Good, because I would never be there for six. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but it is fantastic. And then weekend brunch. Oh my goodness! They open oh, yes. at eleven. Yeah, I so, know because we're always the first ones. Yeah, I, I know you wanted to get into the um, two two five nominations. I know. Br- you know, barbecue obviously is one of ours, and brunch is another big one uh, for us. We we take a lot of pride in what we do for that, and that's a lot of this is we do our very fresh, colorful. Um, yeah. You know, so if, if you're a fan of our brunch, you know, breakfast is a little bit of an extension. For sure, of that. numerous nominations, and I know why. If you're gonna right. rock it right, that's right. Make sure you rock it right at With City, City Pork. Pork. That's right. We are so glad that you came.
Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Rock It Right with Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar is brought to you by these generous sponsors. Partners One, Better Barter for Baton Rouge and Beyond. Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center, Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, Advantage Health Solutions with Dr. Boyd Michael Helm, High Tower Dental Concepts with Dr. Leah Larson, City Group Hospitality including City Pork Brasserie and Bar, City Pork Catering, City Slice, City Taco, Rouge Creole and Beau Soilet. Talent 360 Consulting with Vicki Little, Jeff Taylor, Realtor and Forester with Whitetail Properties. The Third Street Songwriters Festival. Elite Chiropractic with Dr. Ron McMorris. Causey Metasthetic and Dr. Danielle Causey. LouisianaIsATrip.com, Take One. Beauvoir Park and the Flower Fest Louisiana at Point Marie. Thank you for making our show possible.